In this tutorial, we'll walk through the process to help you build powerful generative UI applications using C1 by Thesis. All the steps we'll cover today are available in our GitHub repo for the Next.js template. To begin, you'll need to clone our template repository and simply open your terminal and type git clone and the URL to the GitHub repository. Once the repository is cloned, navigate to the project directory. We're going to do CD and then the folder name is template C1 next. Now install all the necessary dependencies using npm and we're going to go npm install. The final setup step is adding your API key to your environment. You'll need to add the thesis API key value pair probably in a .env or .local file. With everything installed, you can start the development server with npm run dev. Now that you have the environment up and running, you can begin exploring the generative UI features. The interface should be accessible in this case at localhost 3000. The template provides a clean starting point with all the necessary configurations already set up, allowing you to focus on building your application rather than wrestling with configuration details. Let's explore some of the key features. Data, visualization, engaging forms and inputs, interactive components, make the chat experience less one-dimensional. Let's dive deeper. What are some of the advanced capabilities of C1? Carousels, galleries, diagrams, and charts. The data comes alive when you can interact with what's on the page. With just a few simple steps, you've successfully set up a generative UI application using C1 by Thesis. Show me trending laptops and help me buy one for my grandson. Imitate an e-commerce assistant. Help me purchase a product step by step. Start by showing me the available products. Show me the best vacation destinations this year and help me plan a trip to one of them. List popular diet plans this year, then guide me in choosing one that works for weight loss. Help me check my symptoms, from asking health questions to displaying possible causes with severity levels and suggestions. Take it one step at a time. 